Nowadays, there are so many different kinds of wires and connections. Some of the most popular are USB-C, Thunderbolt 3, Thunderbolt 4, and USB 4. But what's the difference? I'm Michelle from Rocket Yard. Here's what you really need to know. USB-C is a connection type. USB-C is not Thunderbolt 3, Thunderbolt 4, or USB 4. It is only the connection that those technologies use. To understand the difference between those technologies, you have to go past the USB-C connector, even though they all share it. Thunderbolt and USB 4 are a communication standard, or protocol, that provides a set of features for a computer to interact with devices through that USB-C connection. Thunderbolt 3, 4, and USB 4 are basically 3-in-1 wrappers that tie PCIe, USB 3, and DisplayPort standards into one do-it-all package. All three of these technologies use the USB-C connection type to connect to computers and devices. The difference between Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 4 is that Thunderbolt 4 guarantees certain specifications that are optional with the Thunderbolt 3 standard. Thunderbolt 4 is always 40 gigabits per second, while Thunderbolt 3 and USB 4 can operate at either 20 or 40 gigabits per second. The difference between Thunderbolt 3 and USB 4 is purely in the name. The actual standards are identical. In fact, Intel gave the Thunderbolt 3 standard to the USB IF, which allowed for the adoption of the technology on USB 4 devices. And as far as compatibility and performance goes, they are practically the same even though the names are different. As far as cables go, regardless of whether the device is USB 4 or Thunderbolt 4, it's best to purchase a Thunderbolt 4 cable to work with any of those devices to guarantee full compatibility. Since Thunderbolt 4 includes support for USB and DisplayPort, if you see the Thunderbolt logo, a small lightning bolt and the number 4 on the cable, you know that connection can do it all. I'm Michelle from Rocket Yard. Thank you for watching. If you thought this video was helpful, like and subscribe below. And if you're looking for more in-depth coverage of all things tech, check out our Rocket Yard blog at rocketyard.com.